Thanks for taking time to look at this property, a gorgeous piece of property out uh, about 10 minutes from downtown Kerrville. Come out I-10, exit Goat Creek Road and go south on Holloman, uh, and you'll turn left on Holloman Road. You'll see the front gate here, electric front gate surrounded. Uh, the property on the front side has a white pipe fence around it. Gorgeous property. You come up the hard surface road, cross the cattle guard. You'll see the decorative windmill there on the side of the property. Gorgeous property. Coming up the driveway, you see a stone house, has a standing seam metal roof, beautiful property, gorgeous house, very, very well built. See the parking lot here in front, two car garage, certainly easy to incorporate this garage in the living area of the house if you so choose. The house right now is two bedroom, two bath, uh, lots of room, lots of open space, but very easily to include uh, the garage if you wanted to expand that. And you can see from the parking lot side, it would be easy, easy to expand the garage or to build another garage that would connect to the house as well. Let's go inside, take a look around, and we'll show you more about the house. Big open living room, stone fireplace to the right. Uh, you'll see the kitchen through the opening over there. But again, very, very well built, completely functional, functional, very, very usable. Use this as a primary residence or weekend retreat or a launch spot from your hill country hunting operation. But a great, great house with uh, that's very, very functional. You can do just about whatever you want to do with it. Again, you see the living room. Uh, the door in the back goes to the bedrooms and the kitchen across the way. As we go into the kitchen, you'll see it's perfectly fine, in great shape, everything is functional. Certainly you can use as is or you can update. Nice little breakfast nook if you're not uh, interested in uh, spreading out all over the house. Look at the windows all around, lots of sunlight, lots of views of the surrounding countryside. You really do have magnificent views from this hillside property. Plenty of room for kitchen help and prepare some larger meals. Going through the kitchen now into kind of a mudroom area that has an outside door. This is a utility room. You can see to the right is, a, is an enclosed front porch that we'll look at later. But we'll start down the hall, leaving utility room or mudroom down towards the bedrooms. To the right is a full bath and to the left is a door going back into the living room. All right, we're gonna go down the hallway and you'll see the bigness of the living room here just momentarily. And the stone fireplace in the other end down there, you can decorate or design this uh, just about however you choose. Clean palette here. All right, back down the hallway towards the bedrooms. We'll go immediately to the left to the first bedroom. You'll be able to see in there the, the window out on sort of the front porch as you walk up. Uh, so you've got light in here, and you'll see the, the driveway out front there. Back out of the first bedroom, we're going to turn left and go down the hallway here into what would be the master suite, master bedroom. Again, windows, lots of light, very, very comfortable, livable space. Into the master bath. Lots of area here. Tall top, well done. Okay, now we're back into the utility room. We're gonna go out on the front porch here. Uh, sleeping porch completely enclosed. You'll see windows on three sides all the way around. Look at those magnificent views off in the distance. This area can be used just about however you want to. Turn the kids loose in here. Uh, have 
have any kind of meals out here, entertainment, a sleeping porch, you'll see a door to the mudroom going back inside, a door to the kitchen going in back down there, and a door to the outside on the far end down there. Again, beautiful, beautiful room, uh, views, a really magnificent room that you could use for just about whatever purpose you, you can imagine. Back into the kitchen here, see the breakfast room, and across back to the front door. This house was occupied by uh, uh, George Mortek's uh, parents. Uh, they've since passed away, and so thus the sale of this. Uh, don't pass this opportunity. Really a extremely well-built house uh, with lots of options, lots of opportunity, just as we said, a blank slate to do what you would like to do with and enjoy. This is actually downstairs. If you come outside, so you could build another room downstairs. This is That was under the sleeping porch. Uh, we're going to take a few shots here with our drone. This is from across the road. You'll see the house in the distance, a pond that was professionally uh, built, a tank, fishing tank. Uh, you'll, you'll see here with a little swimming dock in it. Lots of catfish in here. Big, big, big fun. Uh, you'll see the... Uh, uh, there's a there's a barn down to your, in the middle of this uh, of the picture that has a septic se a separate septic systems electricity and water so take a look uh, we'll see that a little bit closer as you go along you'll see the house look at the stone wall that's built behind the house there uh, retaining wall this is very 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 well done you might not see it exactly but you see the fence line over there on the far side. Uh, in front of the house. You don't see the elevation change here. We'll get down to a lower level here in a little bit and show you the elevation thing because this, this house very much sits on the hillside. Everything you're looking at here is the property. Property line goes up behind the house all the way over to the left of the fence. Now we're back behind the house looking down towards the road. The white fence on the far right of the picture is the property line and you'll see the fence on the property line just to the left of the driveway as we look down. Just to give you a little history of the property, George Kiefer, the grandson of the original owner from, 19, from 1888, was born on the property. George is a geologist and explains how this valley is surrounded by four fault lines. The result is a valley with deep soil, shallow water table, and very strong water wells. The back half of the property has a mineral seep coming out of the surrounding hills. This results in an extremely high concentration of wildlife. Uh, you'll see them kicking and pawing the ground. We'll show you a little bit about uh, that uh, location here in just a minute. But axis deer, white tail uh, covered up. This property really can be enjoyed in many, many ways. Lots of kids spend a lot of time out here. George and his wife host all kinds of kids' activities out here all the time. Uh, that's to, you're looking at a drone shot from uh, uh, down the road, back across the property. As we said, uh, really, really deep soil. You'll see this, uh, this grass in the, even in the, in the summertime out here, uh, belly deep sometimes. It's really, really uh, an unusual piece of property and has, I mean, you, you see from looking at it, has a big, much bigger property feel. All right, we're back down on the ground here looking at the, at the great fishing activity and you really, really, really will enjoy this a lot. It is a lot of fun and everyone that visits always enjoys this. These are the steps coming down to uh, the, uh, the, the lower part of the property, the fishing area. They were standing actually on a concrete deck here or you'll see the deck down to your left, standing on the front of the property looking uh, out over. Again, look at the hillside views that you see of your property and the property beyond. This is coming down behind the house, kind of an RV barn, barn down here. Again, septic, uh, electric and septic system, uh, just views of the property back up the 
valley towards the house. A uh, beautiful uh, setting. Another drone shot in the distance from across the road. This is from the back side of the property, uh, looking back across. And we'll show you some examples of some animals on the property as well. Uh, gorgeous opportunity, gorgeous property, tremendous opportunity. Now we're selling this at auction April, uh, April the 30th at uh, 11 a.m. at the property. Uh, inspection will be Saturday and Sunday, 12 to 4. That's April 16th and 17th and April 23rd and 24th. Uh, so you're welcome to go out and look, take a look at the fish that are involved in the pond here. Uh, there's some video, throw a little bread out and you'll see some, uh, some activity there. Some significant catfish, fun for the kids to catch and, uh, and fun to uh, make dinner out of, uh, good, uh, delicious to make dinner out of as well. But come out and visit, visit us. It is, uh, again, April 16th, 17th, 12 to 4. That's Saturday or Sunday afternoon. And then the following weekend, the 23rd and the 24th, uh, 12 to 4 as well. Uh, call us with any questions. Our number is 713-594-1576 or visit the website at unitedcountrytxre.com and click on this listing. It'll show you some uh, more detail and some information about it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you taking a look at this. It is a great opportunity. You're seeing the back property line here, the, the approximate uh, property line, so you're not uh, fenced in by the neighbors at all. Thank you very much. Hope to see you at the auction.